Hello everyone, this is Jose from MicroAPS.io and in this video I'm going to show you how to add users to your AWS account with temporary credentials. So traditionally we would add users to AWS using IAM. So we would create in the dashboard, we would create user profiles directly on that service and to get access to the API we would issue keys for those users. Now, the intended practice is that those keys would be rotated every so often so that if those keys get leaked, then people who get uh, access to those keys wouldn't have unfettered access to your account for a long period of time. In practice, those keys were not rotated that often. They were very long lived keys. And so to prevent these issues, what AWS has been recommending for a long period of time is that we create users with short term access to the account and the API. And to make this easy, AWS launched the SSO service, which is now renamed to AWS Identity Service, where we can create user profiles that have very restricted access to specific accounts for a specified period of time. And we specify the period of time the, the session can last for in the configuration. And so this is great news from a security point of view. It means if those short lived credentials get leaked, people who get access to those credentials will get access to your account only for the duration of the session. Once the session expires, those credentials are not useful anymore. And so I still see a lot of organizations adding users to AWS using IAM directly. And so I thought I would put together a video walking you through the steps to add users to AWS using the Identity Center so that your users only have temporary access to the console and the API. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So if you go to, um, it is IAM Identity Center. So you go here, if you don't have that enabled on your account, you will get a view that says enable for your account. It will ask for some configuration. My recommendation is configure it to allow organizations. So to be able to have other accounts linked to your main account, that could be useful sometime in the future. So once you configure that, you will get this dashboard and you can create users. So I have one user created here. I'm going to walk you through the process of creating another user. So let's say we create another one, which is Jose test. And then for the email, we're going to say hello at micro apis.io hello at microapis.io and the name is going to be Jose Aro Peralta. We're going to click next. I have a group already defined in my identity center. I'm not going to select it. I'm going to show you how to create one. So we click next. We add the user. All right. So now I'll have to go to the, um, to the, my email account to verify the user. I'll do that in a moment. Let's create another group. So we're going to say create group and we're going to give it a name admin test and we're going to link it to host the test. And so we create the group. All right. So that's the group admin test. And now we're going to go to permission sets. All right. So we have one defined here that I created before. We're going to create another one and this is going to be a pretty predefined permission set with administ administrator access. You can create other profiles and you can even create your custom permission sets. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna call it um, admin access test. And my recommendation, I mean, sessions, you know, if they last one hour, that means on the CLI, for example, uh, you will have to log in every hour on the on the dashboard on the console as well i would put it for 12 hours maybe i think it's more convenient for for, or for eight hours a full working session so we click next and well this is not the time to submit feedback we're in the middle of that tutorial so all right so that's our um permission set administrator access test now we're going to go to accounts so we're going to click here, we're going to say assign users or groups. We're going to click on admin test, which is the new group we are setting up. We click next and we're going to give it this, uh, uh, this permission set that we defined before to get access to the account. We click next 
and we, we um, confirm the, this configuration. Now AWS is setting this up for us and now we have our permission set linked to a new group that has access to this account. And so if we come to the group here, the admin test group, we have a user bound to it and we have access to our AWS account. And so this is the recommended way uh, of accessing, accessing our accounts because that means we can't use a permanent access key to access the AWS API. We have to generate new credentials every time. So the way we're gonna get access to this profile that we created here, we go to the terminal, and by the way, you will need AWS CLI version two to do this. So we will do, we say, AWS SSL hosted test. So AWS SSL login profile hosted test. That is the profile we created just now. And that gives us access to the account with administrator uh, access permissions. Actually, before we do that, we have to um, configure the CLI to have this profile uh, set up. So we will say AWS configure SSL. And so the recommended thing here is that you give it a name. That, because we're going to work with AWS serverless and there's a glitch in the plugin that if you have a session name specified here, it won't work. So we leave it blank. It's just for the serverless deployment, all right? Otherwise, if you're going to have this for a different purpose, you can give it a name. Now, the um, start URL, the easiest way to pick up that URL is you can ask your account admin to get it. But you see, we got this email to join the account. So if we click on it, we okay, accept the invitation, obviously, to be able to log in with it. Uh, we have to set the password. So let's get a suggested password here. So if we go back to the email, we have this URL here. So that, that's the URL that goes here. To, that's the URL we're going to use to log into a new session with this account. So we click enter. And then we have to specify the region. So the region is simply the region where we created this configuration. So I'm accessing the IAM Identity Center from Ireland. So the region here is EU West 1. Um, and so that creates the configuration. Now I've got a prompt in the browser, which I'm going to put here. And so, you know, when you log in with the, um, with the CLI, it's going to open this prompt here, which is for you to confirm access to the CLI. It, it's telling you someone is requesting access to this. Uh, can you please confirm that the access is, is, uh, is can be granted. And so you confirm the access and now we have our, um, we have a session active here to access the API with that profile. And so, you know, the configuration so far has been for the identity center, how to call the identity center to log in and create the session. And now is the default configuration to access the API. So in my case, I do deployments to EU West one. So that's going to be the default region where I want to manage resources. And then I want, of course, the output in JSON and the uh, a name for the profile. I'm going to call it Jose Test so that I know which one it is and I can delete it later easily. And so that that's all, right? So there is a suggestion there how to test the command is working. All I want to show you is to create a new session, you do this. AWS SSO login profile, in this case, Jose Test. And so if you do that, you're going to get uh, prompted with this same um, tab that we had here to confirm that we can grant access to that API call. That's all. All right, so that was everything. If you like this video, please like, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, make a comment. Um, if you're interested in learning about other topics related to fast API, Python, or APIs or web development, please uh, leave your suggestions in the comments. Share this video with anyone who might benefit from it, your colleagues, your friends or family. And if you want to learn more about uh, API and web development in general, or working with Python or API security, check out my website,
learn.microapis.io. I'm currently working on a whole series of courses about API and web development. I'm going to be uploading them very soon. And so if you want to learn more about these topics, check out the page. And if you have suggestions or you wish me to create courses on a specific topics, leave your suggestions in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Thank you so much and see you soon.